Hi, today we are going to learn normal form. The process of removal of duplication of the production is called as normalized CFG. The context free grammar can be normalized by Chomsky normal form, Pogrebeck normal form, CNF or GNF. If it is free from null production, the ACFG can be normalized if it is free from null production. There should not be any null production. The first definition of CNF is a CFG is in CNF if all the productions are of the form A derived BC and A derived A. There should be one variable in left side and only two variables should be in right side or one variable in left side and one terminal in right side. Only these two conditions exist for CNF. Let's take some example. This is S derived AS and small a, A derived SA and small v. So variables are capital S, small a, And terminals are small a and small b. We can see S drive a and capital S both are variables and single variable derives two variables. So it is part of CNF. S drive a this is also part of CNF. A drive s a, a drive b. So this algorithm this derivation is equivalent to CNF definition, so it is in CNF. Let's take another example. There is a question S drive small a, a capital S B and epsilon. So variables are capital S and terminals are small a, small v and epsilon. So as we know, a CFG can be normalized if, if it is free from null production. Here we can see there is null production. So first we have to make null elimination in this context free grammar. For null elimination, S derive epsilon, there is a algorithm we have already studied. If S derive a, B, alpha, alpha is a terminal and A, B is variable. So, A or B drives some null values. A drive epsilon and B drive epsilon. So, it's e after the null removal, the equivalent grammar would be S drive A, B, alpha, S drive A, alpha, S drive B, alpha and S drive alpha. With all the combination, of a b should be attached with alpha and one derivation of alpha. So after this grammar epsilon removal the grammar would be s drive a s b or s drive a b. Now we have to convert this grammar into cnf. For cnf definition is either one variable derive two variable or one variable derive one terminal. So for this let's assume A derive A and capital B derive B. Two extra variable we have assumed. So this grammar will be converted into S derive capital A, S capital B or AB and A drive A and B drive B. Is it in CNF? This two production is in CNF. S drive AB is also in CNF. But here we can see there are three variables. So we will assume a new variable C, capital C, that drive capital S and B. So whole production will be converted into S drive AC or AB, AB as it is. SB will be replaced by capital C, capital C, the S drive AC or AB and 
C drain S B, A drain A, and B drain small b. So this is in C N F. Next is G N F. A C F G is said to be in G N F if all the production had the form A drain small a and capital B, where B belongs to V capital V variables closer. It should be part of variable closer. So here B can be more than one length also, but A belongs to terminal. There is question. S derive A capital S B or B A B is in G N F or not? So we see that S derive A S B and A B both are not in this form. So we will assume there is a variable B that derives terminal B. This is assumption. So this complete C F G will be converted into S drive A S B or A B and B drives B. So this is equivalent to in this form one variable drives a terminal along with variable closer. So it is in the now G N F. So this is the method of normalization of C N F and G N F. And normalization is used for improving the efficiency of pasture. Thank you.